Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. But we've got trouble ahead. I'm sure it's nothing the Inquisition can't handle. Careful, Your Worship. That optimism might be catching. Are things that bad? Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. Have any undead attacked the camp? We've had a few shamblers, but most head toward the village below. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. Hawk and the Warden should be inside. Glad you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the Wardens should be at the back of the cave. A group of Wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men, but they've been given bad orders. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. Warden Logain Muktia. I believe we have a common cause, Inquisitor. There was a Logain who joined the Wardens after he lost Ferelden's throne. The traitor Terran. Yes. I've heard all the names. Then that's you. I've been a Warden for ten years. They will never fully consider me theirs. Something I've had cause to be grateful for recently. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? I believe so. After Hawk killed Corypheus, Weishaupt was content to forget the whole affair. If an archdemon can survive seemingly mortal wounds, why not Corypheus? I began to investigate. I found evidence, but no proof. And then, soon after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? I didn't believe it concerned you. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling is a portent. Like crows circling the battlefield before the fighting. It tells the warden that his time has come. First are the dreams. And then a voice whispers in the back of the warden's head, just at the edge of hearing. And that is when the warden goes down to the deep roads. To die with honor. And every grey warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Thanks to Corypheus, I believe. If the Wardens fall, who will stop the next blight? That is what's panicked my brethren. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling, and they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I don't know. Even as a senior Warden, I knew little about him. The Wardens believe it to be real, despite my warnings about Corypheus. And that is all that matters at the moment. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? Yes. It's like an itch at the back of my mind. At times, it's barely there at all. But then I find myself starting to hum it under my breath. It is vile. I can understand why so many Wardens have gone mad from fear of it. 
I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I don't know. It's likely part of his nature. Corypheus is, or was, once a mortal man. The Blight owns him, but it did not create him. Wardens are tied to the Blight through the Darkspawn. That is how Corypheus influences Warden minds. Somehow he is using that power to mimic the calling. We need the Warden's help. This is the worst possible time for such a lunacy. The Blight nearly destroyed Ferelden. The Blight without Wardens to stop it might well destroy the world. Warden Commander Clarell proposed a ritual involving blood magic. A desperate measure to prevent further Blights. When I protested the plan, called it madness, they tried to arrest me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It's an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Good. Whatever's happening has already started. We saw lights coming from the tower. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice! Oh. Visitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Edamond the Virantium, at your service. You're no warden, mage. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Wardens, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient Tevinter Magister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the Wardens think. Wardens, hands up! Hands down! Corypheus controls them. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. In desperation, they turned to the Imperium. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Ah. Oh. I was wondering when the demon army would show up. You knew about it, did you? Well then, here you are. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Hades. Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless Darkspawn. 
The blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. Somebody's certainly a tool. As for me, while the Elder One rules from the Golden City, we, the Venatori, will be his god kings here in the world. So Corypheus influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual? <laughs> made them? No! Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons, the Wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator. And they were very afraid. That's a lie. The Grey Wardens are heroes. They would never do this willingly. The Grey Wardens care about nothing save stopping Blight. They will do anything to accomplish that. You should have seen Clarel agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. Why would the Wardens try to kill the old gods? A blight happens when Darkspawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, poof, no more blights, ever. The Wardens sacrificed their lives and saved the world. Although I fear history will remember them a little differently now. Why would Clarel risk using demons? Demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat, never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across all A. Now they are bound to my master. Release the Wardens from the Binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No. You won't. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you're foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the faith. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... to listen to reason. As you feared, the mages who completed the ritual are under the rule of Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. Eremons lied to the Wardens. They were trying to prevent future blights. With blood magic and human sacrifice. Despite their lack of wisdom, they acted out of necessity. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. In the direction Eremon fled, the only structure of note is an abandoned warden fortress, adamant. I suspect we'll find the wardens there. <laughs> I suppose it's fortunate a friend once gave me some old maps. Good thinking. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. Adamant Fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls, thanks to our Lady Ambassador. Lady Cyril of Jader was pleased to lend the Inquisition her sabots. They've already delivered the trebuchets. That is the good news. And the bad news? Eremond called the ritual at the Western Approach a test. He may already be raising his army of demons in the fortress. 
The Inquisition forces can breach the gate, but if the Wardens already have their demons... I found records of Adamant's construction. There are choke points we can use to limit the field of battle. That's good. We may not be able to defeat them outright, but if we cut off reinforcements, we can carve you a path to Warden Commander Clarell. Taking this fortress is going to get a lot of good soldiers killed. Our soldiers know the risks, Inquisitor, and they know what they're fighting for. It'll be hard fought, no way around it, but we'll get that gate open. It's also possible that some Wardens may be sympathetic to our cause. The warriors may be willing to listen to reason, though I doubt they will turn against Clorel directly. The mages, however, are slaves to Corypheus. They will fight to the death. We've built the siege engines and readied our forces, Inquisitor. Give the word, and we march on Adamant. Black, they're through! All right, Inquisitor. You have your way in. Best make use of it. We'll keep the main host of demons occupied for as long as we can. I'll be fine. Just keep the men safe. We'll do what we have to, Inquisitor. Warden Logan will guard your back. Hawk is with our soldiers on the battlements. He's assisting them until you arrive. There's too much resistance on the walls. Our men on the ladders can't get a foothold. If you can clear out the enemies on the battlements, we'll cover your advance. Wardens, we are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. It has been many long years, my friend. Too many, Clarell. If my sword arm can no longer serve the Wardens, then my blood will have to do. It will. We must complete the ritual! Clarell, if you complete that ritual, you're doing exactly what Eremond wants. What? Fighting the Blight? Keeping the world safe from Darkspawn? Who wouldn't want that? And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the Wardens for doing their duty! We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. 
And then he takes your mage's minds for his real master, Corypheus. Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Corel. Bring it through! Please! I have seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I betrayed the Wardens once, and it cost me everything! Are you mad enough to think I'd do it again? Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. Listen to me! I have no quarrel with the Wardens. I have spared those I could. I don't want to kill you, but you're being used. And some of you know it, don't you? The mages who've done the ritual? They're not right. They were my friends, but now they're like puppets on a string. You cannot let fear sway your mind, Warden Chernoff. He's not afraid. You are. You're afraid that you ordered all these brave men and women to die for nothing. One day you may be asked to give your lives to stop a blight, but not today. Well, we have come so far. You're the only one who can do this. Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Or perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor. He sent me this to welcome you.
You've destroyed the Grey Wardens. <laughs> you did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. All I did was dangle a little power before your eyes, and you couldn't wait to get your hands bloody. Falling. Is this... Are we dead? No. The Inquisitor opened another rift with the mark. This is the fade. The fade looked much different the last time I was here. Perhaps it's because we're here, physically, instead of just dreaming. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Eremond was using. And there could be others. Shibble, fuck, shit, crap! Fade, shit, ass, demons, crap! In the real world, the rift producing the demons was nearby in the main hall. Can we return to the world through that? It sounds like our best option. There. Let's go. Impossible. I greet you, Warden. And you, champion, Divine Justinia. From the little I remember of what happened at Haven, I thought you were dead. That can't be the Divine. It's most likely a demon. You think my survival impossible, yet here you stand alive in the Fade yourselves. In truth, 
Proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. The real Divine would have no way of knowing that I'd been made Inquisitor. I know, because I have examined memories like yours, stolen by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. And perhaps I owe this nightmare a visit. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself. But the Nightmare serves willingly. For Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world. Was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The nightmare has fed well. Can you help us get out of the Fade? That is why I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. What's going on here? Bring forth the sacrifice. So Andraste didn't bestow her mark upon you, it came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. I never thought Andraste did this. I did this myself, through my actions. No maker required. And now you may be certain. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. 
You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Is there a problem, Hawk? Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. Corypheus had clearly taken the Wardens' minds. You yourself have seen them do this. In any case, we can deal with that after we escape. Oh, I intend to. The Divine. Please say that was her. It was her, right? I doubt it. Our survival here is miraculous on its own. Whether she's a spirit or a demon, she wishes to help us. For the moment, at least. And the nightmare? From what she said, I don't look forward to meeting it. Sounds like it preys on fear. Stealing people's memories. That's low, even for a demon. Memories make us what we are. A monster that takes them away. I don't want to think about that. After its corruption of the Wardens, I'll see it pay. Ah, uh, we have a visitor. Some silly little girl comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from her shoulder. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think the pain will make you stronger. What fool filled your mind with such drivel? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here in my home. So by all means, let me return what you have forgotten. Watch out! I don't know what those are, but they're coming our way! Nothing like a Grey Warden, and you are nothing like a Grey Warden. I'll show you a Warden's strength, beast. Sarah, 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 if you shoot an arrow at me, I'll know where you are. Ow, my head, bitch, balls! Once again, Hawk is in danger because of you, Varric. You found the Red Lyrium. You brought Hawk here. Just keep talking, Smiley. Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? Meryl is going to die, just like your family and everyone you ever cared about. Of course, a fear demon wouldn't know where to hurt us most. Those must have been smaller fears, servants of the nightmare. And they take the form of spiders, something so many fear. Didn't see no spiders. I'd have taken bloody spiders. The demons look different to all of us. They take on the appearance of something we fear. So, it's in my head. Knowing is not helping. The nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, you grow stronger. We cannot tarry long. So, can you tell me who... what you are? I told you, I am helping you. Yes, but are you her, or some kind of fade remnant of her? Or a spirit imitating her? Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things? Or all of them? I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? 
I was meant to become the Inquisitor. But what is the Inquisitor? And how will she change the world? You believe in your purpose, and that is good. That is your power. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. So... all of this is just a dream? Part of the faith? It is not just a dream. The minds of mankind are made real here. Their hopes, their loves, and their fears. What changes their world also changes this one. And yours are footsteps that move mountains in both. Tread carefully, Inquisitor. This ground is more treacherous than you know. I'd like to know more about the nightmare. It is not simply fear. It is the terror you cannot remember, the horror your mind erases to protect you. When old memories no longer make the veteran soldier's hand tremble, it is because the nightmare has taken them. Most people avoid their fears. It is simple for the demon to steal the darkest fragments. They forget, and it feeds. Corypheus has helped it grow monstrous. It makes people forget the worst parts of their fears. It almost sounds like the nightmare is helping people. Perhaps it was, once. But now, it helps none but Corypheus. By his hand, it creates more fear and grows even stronger. In any case, robbing people of their fears is never a kindness. At best, it is a mistake born of compassion. Without fear and pain and failure, we cannot learn. We cannot grow, as you cannot grow until you recover all that was taken from you. Tell me why you're here. Why take part in this? After heaven, I hid here. I watched quietly, learned what I could, and searched for some way to help. And then you came. I don't know what that means. Corypheus and the Nightmare do an injustice to the world. You must stop them. Perhaps you were meant to stop them. Perhaps that is why I am here. You must know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. As must you. The answer lies in your memories, lost to the nightmare, when you last walked the Fade. Or you could just tell me. Would you trust my words? Trust what you have seen. What can you tell me about this mark on my hand? You already know how the mark came to be upon your hand. As for what it is, it is the needle that pulls the thread, as well as the key. I don't understand. It is the needle that passes through the veil, as little else can. You are the thread, and it is the key that locks or unlocks a door to the Fade. It lets you walk in the Fade physically, and survive. Without it, Corypheus must find another way to the Black City. It is part of you now, and cannot be removed without your death. We should keep moving. Running!
That's how we, how I escaped. you. They thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... She died. Yes. Following a demon, then. I think we all knew that was the case, Warden. I am sorry if I disappoint you. The only thing that's important right now is getting out of the Fade. Whatever you are, you've helped us so far. What we do know is that the mortal divine perished at the temple, thanks to the Grey Wardens. Corypheus controlled them. We've discussed this already. If this spirit has no further revelations, we should work on getting back to Adamant alive. Yes, Adamant. Where the Inquisition faces an army of demons raised by the Wardens. I see. Atrocities are your purview alone. You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion. To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. Even without the influence of Corypheus, the Wardens go too far. They need to be checked. What are you saying? You want to get rid of the Wardens? Everyone makes mistakes. They would have died to save us. It isn't like you can just get rid of them. I mean, it's never good when they show, but they're supposed to be heroes. I don't know what to tell you. There are a few good ones, but an awful lot of the Wardens I've known went crazy. This debate can wait until we're out of danger. Inquisitor. The Nightmare has found us. Form up. I'm with you. Logan McTeer, the brilliant commander. Pity the one time you tried to rule, you failed so miserably. You had to be beaten, humiliated, lest you destroy your own country. You even doom the Wardens by bringing the Inquisitor down on them. You destroy everything you touch. That's all you've got? It's nothing I've not said to myself. Do you think you can fight me? I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. They are bound all through me. Ah, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you, every fear come to life. <laughs>
must get through the rift, Inquisitor. Get through, and then slam it closed with all your strength. That will banish the army of demons, and exile this cursed creature to the farthest reaches of the faith. The rift! We're almost there! Great Hawk. Why not just dare the old gods to try and stop you? Nothing. You will die in agony. Cannot stand against me. I grow fat on your fear. this mistake. A warden must... A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Logan. I well. You will not die while I draw breath. was right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the mages are free, and Corypheus loses his demon army. Though as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. Once they understand what really happened... Honestly, after all the death they've seen... Perhaps it would be better to let them believe the legend. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Where is Logan?
Warden Logain died striking a blow against a servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice, and remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens, even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? You stay and do whatever you can to help. Logang died for the ideals of the Wardens. In war, victory. And we are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? I do, Your Worship. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. While they do that, I'll inform the Wardens at Weisholt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. It's been an honor. And take care of Varric for me. Hawk send me one final report. He's on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Venatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. The Grey Wardens carry respect in other nations. If we spread word that the Inquisition has their support... We may gain standing with nations that have suffered under the Blight. I will take the matter to Josephine. While you bested Corypheus here and at Halam Shiral, he himself was not present either time. We fear he is close to finding another way to enter the Fade. When you have a moment, Colin and Josephine are waiting in the war room with an update. What was she like? Divine Justinia, or a soul, or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... She seemed calm, serene even, and she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry, I failed you too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Our alliance with Orle holds, for the present. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After Adamant, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds and sent them marching south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. We strike Corypheus now, while his people are reeling. If he's hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we finish him. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those Forgotten Woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, 
but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but... Only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they'd only back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a respite with the man I loved. For a time, I had a safe place to raise my son. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key. The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon 